Today's news! On the hour, sponsored by Eggland's Best. I'm Lindsay Kenyon in Washington. The task has begun for the special master who's reviewing records the FBI seized from former President Trump's Florida state. CBS is Scott Pizarro. The special master selected for this case, federal judge Raymond Deary of New York, got down to business with a 45-minute hearing saying he'd move as quickly as possible through the process and asking Trump's legal team to show some information or details about his claims that he declassified some of those records seized from Mar-a-Lago. The Trump legal team said no. It might compromise their defense if there's an indictment. Sending essentials to Hurricane Ravage Puerto Rico. WFOR TV's Peter Dench is in Miami. Inside Gem, the global empowerment mission in Doral, workers are putting together kits with necessity items for a thousand families in Puerto Rico. They are packed with items like socks, rice, beans, cookies, and canned goods. Forty-seven people in Minnesota charged in a massive pandemic fraud scheme. Prosecutors say the defendant stole more than $250 million in federal money. And while they were supposed to be feeding needy children, they were actually feeding their own appetite for luxury goods, including cars, jewelry, and real estate. Investigators say the suspects generated false names and kept fake logs of the children that they were feeding. CBS is Jeff Pegues. An alarming assessment from the U.N. Secretary General. Here's CBS's Cammy McCormick. He said the world is gridlocked in colossal dysfunction. Our world is in big trouble. Antonio Guterres warned of a forest of red flags from wars to the food crisis and climate change. The climate crisis is the defining issue of our time. No region is untouched. The gathering of world leaders is the first entirely in-person assembly since the pandemic began, though few breakthroughs are expected. President Biden speaks at the U.N. General Assembly tomorrow. Attorney General Merrick Garland and Ukraine's top prosecutor are teaming up to investigate Russian war crimes. Garland says his team is already on it. That team is providing Ukraine with a wide variety of technical assistance on criminal cases, including evidence collection and forensic analysis. For most Brits, life is back to normal after yesterday's massive funeral ceremonies for Queen Elizabeth, but not for all. I'm Vicki Barker in London. The flags are back at full staff at offices, schools, and government buildings here after 10 days of national mourning, but not at royal residences. The royal family is observing a further week of mourning for the late Queen Elizabeth. That was one of Charles III's first orders as king. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.